Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some acrylic pouring, my super simple version of the bloom technique. So let's jump in and get started. For this technique, I love to use the Primal Flow pre-mixed ready to pour paints. They're so super simple and easy to use. All you need to do is shake the bottle and they're ready to pour. And for my cell activator, I just use regular US Floetrol and Amsterdam Titanium White Acrylic Paint. Make sure you always strain your Floetrol so you don't get any clumps in your Floetrol. Um, once you open the bottle, you can kind of get clumps and chunks, so just strain it and clean the strainer right away after because once you use it, you want to make sure you clean it out right away so you don't get dried Floetrol in there. And I wanted to show you for the white, for the teaspoon of the Amsterdam Titanium White, what I did was I just stuck the teaspoon in the Floetrol, dumped it out, and then added my paint. That way the paint will slide right out of your teaspoon and you're not going to waste any product. Um, it's a fun way to kind of just, you know, or an easy way to make sure you're not going to waste any of that Amsterdam paint. So I mix my cell activator, three tablespoons Floetrol to one teaspoon Amsterdam Titanium White, and it has to be the Amsterdam for it to work. So now I'm just going in and adding my Primal Flow paints. I flooded this entire resin coaster with the deep coral, added my puddles of color, and added some of the cell activator, and I'm just blowing that cell activator kind of down and over the colors. You want it to just kind of glide over and the cells and lacing will start to develop. Um, this technique is so easy. You don't need any, you know, special ingredients, no house paint, no wood conditioner. All you need is paint and Floetrol. And these are just resin coasters that I had made previously that didn't turn out. I love to do this on resin coasters that I'm just not happy with because it's a fun way to kind of repurpose them. And what I'll do is cover these with a top coat of resin and either turn them into coasters or I'll probably use them as garden stones. I also like to um, participate in the Painted Rock movement. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but basically there's local Facebook groups to whatever city you live in and people paint rocks and hide them in local public places and then um, they'll write a little message on the back, you know, post a picture, keep this or rehide it, and post a picture to Facebook groups. So yeah, it's pretty fun. I'll link a couple of my favorite painted rock groups down below. It's really cool to see, you know, people get excited when they find your rock. I know that these aren't, you know, technically rocks, but I've hidden quite a few of them out and about before and people are really excited when they find them. So it just makes me happy to kind of bring joy to someone, especially right now with, you know, everything that's going on in the world. It just makes me happy to make something that someone else likes as much as I do and kind of just bring a little bit of joy to them and put a smile on their face. So I wanted to show you guys, if you have some um, sections that you don't really like, you can go in with a toothpick and just add a few little lines to connect the cells and lacing to each other. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's just something I like to do. But be careful because you can go overboard. Um, on one of these I ended up going overboard, and you'll see in a few minutes here when I show you the dried results. <laughs> that one I kind of went a little bit crazy with the lines. but. You know, if you have a little bit of self-control, you can really make some of the sections, if you're not too happy with how they turned out, look really cool. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up adding the lines to this one, show you guys how the other two turned out. Um, this is the wet finish, and I'm going to let them dry for about 24 to 48 hours, and I'll show you guys what they look like when they're all nice and dry. And I'll be sure to link Primal Flow Paints information down below in the description box. Um, like I said, all you have to do is shake the bottle and they're ready to pour. And you don't need a ton of paint with this technique, which is nice. You only need a little bit of paint. This, my version of this technique will also work with just um, regular acrylic paints as well if you just mix them with Floetrol, but only if you use all metallic colors. So keep that in mind. I'll link my video down below showing where I did this technique using my own paints. 
um, all metallics, like I said. So here they are, all nice and dry. Everything dried really nicely. Everything stayed put. That ink and gold is so pretty and metallic. I really love this color combination. It's the deep coral, cobalt turquoise, ink and gold, and that Amsterdam titanium white. They went, it goes really nicely together. I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work out, but it turned out really cool. Let me know um, which one is your favorite down in the comments. And this one is the one I went a little bit crazy with adding my own lines in the center here, but that's okay. I still think it turned out really pretty. So like I said, if you're going to be going in with a toothpick and adding your own lines, just Less is more with that, in my opinion. Don't go too overboard with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope you give this technique a try. It's so fun and they always turn out pretty in my opinion. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I actually made some more of these last night. They're drying, so I'm gonna be uploading that video as soon as they dry. And yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good. If you like the video, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button, and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot i have a bloom technique playlist that has quite a few other videos showing my version of this technique i will leave my bloom technique playlist at the end card screen of this video just click that and it'll take you straight to it it's a great you know way to kind of support my channel if you go check out a few more of my videos back to back that really helps out my channel and any youtube channel if you watch a few videos back to back it really helps us out thanks again for watching i'll see you guys soon for another video bye